Hello everyone and welcome to our circle and Salve Women. For today I'm going to be talking about my article, The Power of Knowing, The Challenge of Understanding. It's interesting because we have to ask ourselves if in this world you really truly feel like you know a lot, you know, some erudites, some people that have really picked up on a lot of knowledge, which I always think is so fascinating when someone can tell me something that I have yet to learn, or it's always nice to really just allow someone to speak and even though you may think you know there's always something more that you could learn from some from someone else but we have to ask ourselves do we really truly understand all that we know and have we really tried to or do we even want to know you know because there are things that I talked about in this article where I think about my the appliances there is a coffee maker that my wonderful older children have uh, were able to come together and provide and give to me and what they don't know is you know like the letters started to come off or so but it got to a point where I ended up just looking it up again and now I know by heart like which ones they were just to be certain in, in all of the the, the buttons and which ones actually program and, and so that I can continue to use it. And it's interesting, thank goodness for Google University, right? But it's interesting because that's it, that input and output, just like when you use a computer, you know, amazing things that happen when you have these certain applications and you don't really feel like you you need to know or understand how they work. You just know how to use the application, just like you know how to use your appliances. You plug it in, you push some buttons, you turn it on, and then voila, it all works out. And so that is to that level of knowing and you know understanding perhaps, but do we really truly understand the intricacies of the things that we use and the things that we really put our time into? How much time and energy have we really taken taken upon ourselves to understand more of what it is that we think we know. And so I, I mentioned sports because it's interesting to me having my own children in sports and my husband definitely having contributed to a great majority, if not most of their lives in being student athletes. You know, it's amazing because when your children are doing great all of a sudden there's people showing up that want to cheer you on. And I started to understand this and I was just very grateful for all the people that were commending and, you know, really sending out some positive vibes. And of course, there's always going to be the ones that are not so positive, but you know, that's on them, right? That's the heaviness they carry. But at the same rate, you know, it's just fat. It's just, to me, it's so fascinating how all of a sudden you have you have a tendency to gain more of an audience when things are going great and then all of a sudden when things aren't it's as if you perhaps sometimes gain the wrong type of energies that are coming because perhaps now you have the ones that think of you as someone they can pity and they feel better you know and when really it's just a moment it really is just a moment and that you have to go through and that you have to kind of work out it's just you know things in life that I always think you know every champion has to lose sometime and when you work so hard at always winning I mean there's what goes up must come down right Sir Isaac Newton and so and I'm sure Einstein has something to do with that as well and all the many people that have never been mentioned in history have talked about these things you know like you cannot expect your energy to be always at a hundred you can't expect your excellence to always be at a hundred you can strive for it as I would always say there's no such thing as perfection but you can strive for excellence you know and so when you think about your knowledge I think about that understanding it's you yes like I'm one of those is like oh my goodness I want to learn how to do that one day but at this time do I really have the time or energy that I want to put in to truly truly understand how it all works well that's when you call someone you know in the classroom when you're having glitches you 
if you've already had that that type of experience, you go hurry up and fix it and you're thankful. Thank goodness for my students as well who now know how to just navigate a, com a computer or a laptop and know what it could be the matter and they could, you know, self-fix. And so it's great. But when you run into issues where you're like, hmm, never come through this or, you know, come by this before, then you have someone else that perhaps you can lean on. And that's life. Just really thinking these are my limitations for this time it doesn't mean that I can't understand more it's that I'm just willing to understand to the level of where I want to put my time and energy in and so I think about the again the sports where people go in and they you know they see a, a team winning and then all of a sudden they're showing up and they want to be part of the winning team but they don't understand perhaps and when I say they that would include me how much effort and work it took to even get to that level of starting to gain recognition of winning and then to keep it going in the eyes of all and as the as the audience continues to grow you have to think about that pressure from a team player or you know and then you have the coaches you have everyone that's involved in managing a, a a try to the win knowing that everyone had that intention and at the end someone's going to have to lose and of course you're going to have the judgmental people who've never ever they're better at being fanatics and there's nothing wrong with that because we all need to bounce everyone you know there needs to be a cheerleader sometime and then there yet has to be someone who's doing what it takes for everyone to be able to to cheer and be full of spirit and that's just the whole thing you know it's it's what we do it's like everyone has a part and but at the same rate it's like then you wonder you know when I'm not losing all of a sudden what am I what type of of audience am I attracting and if I'm attracting anything at all and I truly feel for the people that end up having a dry spell whether you're a celebrity and whether you're an athlete any of you know anything where you've always had such great wins and then all of a sudden it's like no one knows your name or no one wants to speak of your name or worse people want to put you down as if they understand all the many sacrifices that you've made so I think about that even with teaching you know, it's interesting because sometimes you think, okay, I've done this for so many years now, and yet th there's still so much to learn. You feel like you are still a learner every time. And I remember one of my colleagues saying this in the very beginning when I first heard this at a staff meeting, like, I go to school every day so that I can continue to learn and get better. And, you know, sometimes that arrogance kicks in inside of your head, like, mm, really? Because I feel like I pretty much have it together. Because you haven't been really tested yet. And so you may have this, like, really amazing class and all of your students and every period that you go through, everything smooth. It's like the violence playing in the background, you know? it's It just, everything's great. And then all of a sudden, it only takes that that one person to put you to a test and then you just have been humbled and you don't realize all the planning no matter what that you can do you just have to come to that realization that there's so much more to understand from what you think you already know and that is that peace with everything whether you are learning, whether you are teaching, you know, there's just that part where you, you're you silencing yourself deep inside because you know, mm, I thought I knew, and yet here I am realizing I knew so little, so little. So I connect that with really in life, why is it that we think we know so much or that we have gathered so much? And, you know, you look at someone, we're so quick to judge and we're looking at others like, how do they not know that? But yet, you know, it's interesting because if you really have not been put, put haven't put yourself in someone else's shoes, you may think that they, they, because they're asking the why, that they know less than you. And yet, because they're asking the why, then all of a sudden they're going to find out how. And once they figure out how and they understand the why piece, that to me as a, a learner, as a teacher, I understand that's the power of it all. Because as soon as someone says, but, you know, why 
is this important? And then all of a sudden we have a goal. We have this focus, whether you're a parent and you're in a family trying to make people understand why you're doing this, you know, as long as no one else is starting to get into the ears of, of, you know, why do you even try? And you know, the, all those discouragements where people don't understand sometimes why you do what you do as a family. It's the same thing as a classroom. It only takes one student to go, why are we doing this? And yet all of a sudden when people sell into the why, then people want to know, okay, how do we do this? And that is that piece of understanding because you could know many, many different concepts, but if you truly don't understand the scope of it all beyond the outside of the box thinking, then you won't be able to make connections. And this is why I, that comprehension level, you know, beyond the application where people are able to apply something that they have they know. And now because they understand, they can think outside of the box and connect it with many things in the world, scientifically or artistically or musically. The, all that connection co evolves from just really understanding what it is that you know and you know, just getting into the root of it all that is that piece that we all work toward is that mastery and I <laughs> think to myself you know when it comes to the parenting and the marriage that is the piece where I always say to myself you know you're you're just having to it's like going to the gym and you're working out, working out, working out, you're feeling really good because everything's toned and you're just feeling good on the inside. You feel like you look good on the outside and yet boom, you know, you ease up because you're thinking, oh, I'm fine. And then you start to eat a certain way that you shouldn't be eating or you start to lack some sleep and or that you're not taking care of yourself in all the busy that you're doing because you think that's what you're supposed to do and yet all of a sudden the busy is not really anything healthy busy doesn't always mean that it's good for you so now you're overwhelmed and it's taking a toll on you so you know when it comes to that parenting and that marriage piece it, it really is a try to the heart mind body and spirit in all aspects it, especially with that parenting and the marriage piece because you don't it's you you are you can read all the books you want you can talk to all the many people that you've talked to but you have not walked into the author's shoes you have not walked in through the other people's lives every journey is so different and I understand that now and I it's inexplicable the things that you go through and so to really go through it is that's the only way that you understand and again understanding the why you do what you do it's like okay I want this I, I want my children to succeed and I want them to go beyond what I have you know, I've seen or your their ancestors have seen and they the, I want them to see see what I see in them you know those are tough because you're always going to be tested because they don't see it in themselves and it's the same thing in the marriage like okay I you know we're going to make this happen but we've got to work it out because I have dreams you have dreams and we have these aspirations and we're going to make it work together and yet all of a sudden it's like the time and the energy that's being put something's got to give and that's the part where all of a sudden it's like what are you going to give up so you may know a whole bunch you could read all these books you could talk to so many people but until you truly understand the scope of, of every little piece of it which is difficult and if anything is it even reachable to understand every little piece of journey that you're going through when sometimes things go so fast at a fast pace that the, you don't even have time to look back at the moment you just have to keep going so with that said I really want to end this by just reminding the you know you and myself that you may think you know but you hardly understand and that's okay and you, to own that like when you get to that point where you go man I thought I knew but I really truly didn't understand that piece to me is that growing piece of maturity to not have to always pretend that you know everything and it's even if you did you felt like it then, then you could come to that peace of mind to say but I truly didn't understand what I what that was all about and you know that is the challenge to really understand all that we know and you, when you get to that peace where you are ready to take time to understand what is most important then maybe you don't really need to know how a 
coffee maker <laughs> works if it's just input output and you just really get good coffee after or you know your computer you turn it on you use some applications do you really really feel like this is going to make me just this amazing stupendous some you know erudite and people are just going to think of me as like the greatest you know, wise person the wisest person there is to live does that really matter or do you want a journey in life understanding what's most important to you and there's the part that you have to define what is most important to you and once you then understand why it's most important to you then you will start to ask the how how am I going to make this happen where then I start to understand everything that I need to know about all of these things that are important to me so that's the value of it all in the words of my mother, God bless us all. Thank you again for listening. And, you know, it's important to keep wanting to learn. I really believe that that is that is that is that moment when you wake up and go, what can I learn today? But I think it's also another piece of, of the pie, right, to eat up and go, but what do I understand about this so that I can truly fall deep into it? and go really into the root of all matter. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. We will see you next time. Again, thank you for listening.